Hi friends, so I wanted to show you that while I was at Lowe's, I picked up some um, vegetables, some seeds, because I saw some varieties that I hadn't come across in the catalogs, the seed catalogs. So far I only have the Baker Creek and the Burpee and I think that's it. I I put in some requests for other catalogs, but they haven't come in yet. So I have this Fairy Morse Cucumber Green Dragon, and I chose it because it looks like it's thin-skinned, it's really smooth, so um, I didn't even know that it had descriptions in the back, so guys, it does have descriptions in the back, I guess I just had to read. And it takes 55 days to harvest, and it's a non-GMO seed. And so what I discovered is it has instructions on how to grow it. But what I love is it has a description of the vegetable, which I don't know why I've never looked up there. I always looked at when to plant it and the the what it's like. <laughs> so it says, Green Dragon Burpless is a great tasting cucumber without bitterness. A dark green spineless variety, love that it's spineless. Ideal for all your salads and appetizers. It is eight to ten inches long and one to one and a half inches wide. Very disease resistant. That's a plus right there. Disease resistance. So I got two of them. Next I got the Rainbow Mix Carrots. 67 days to harvest. And I didn't even know this. They have actually really cool uh, varieties. So um, I'm running out of my Black Nebula um, carrots from Baker Creek and I just wanted to eat the uh, rainbow colors so that's why I chose this packet but when I read the back it says produces atomic red which I really wanted to get atomic red carrots cosmic purple lunar white solar yellow black nebula and bambino orange 8 to 10 inch roots, crisp and sweet, excellent choice for salads and gourmet dishes. So that is awesome. Next I got the purple top white globe and look at the color. It looks so pretty and it's 55 days to harvest. And I've grown turnips but I think I kept them in the ground too long so I've never really eaten one. Now the radishes are spicy but I don't know the true taste of turnips. So I'm going to grow that um, on its own so I could really know what I'm eating and not confuse it with the radishes. This longtime favorite is the most popular turnip for table use. White flesh of its root is firm, fine grained and has a mild sweet flavor. 
most tender when roots are two to two and a half inches in diameter. So that's pretty cool. So I got this sweet pepper pretty and sweet hybrid. I love the colors. It looks so so nice and it's a sweet pepper. I don't typically buy hybrids but I don't plan on keeping like uh, trying to get the seeds from this variety so I'll just grow it like separate from everything else and I'll just harvest the peppers from it and then um, enjoy it and see what it tastes like whether or not to purchase more seeds of this kind in the future. It says this edible ornamental pepper is sweet to the taste and a delight to see and is prolific with multicolored peppers so I love that. Next I got this Joe E. Parker hot pepper. I saw it um, in the Baker Creek uh, set of offerings but I don't think I purchased it so I decided to get it here while I while I spotted it. A highly productive strain of a traditional southwestern Anaheim chili pepper the crisp peppers have mild heat and excellent flavor, traditionally harvested while still green and used for stuffing, grilling, roasting. Harvest green in 70 days, 95 for red. And then I got this Casca Bella hot pepper. Look at how nice they look. I love the colors and it's hot. It is a small pungent cone shaped pepper about one and a quarter inches long fine for sauces salads and picking harvest when light yellow or bright red I love the colors next I got the Jubilee tomato I love that it's orange 80 days to harvest and it's a big one it's um, golden orange fruit that has a mild non-acid flavor, large globular and smooth with a meaty thick walled interior, indeterminate tomato. Next I got the Mortgage Lifter, I love the name, and it's a, um, I'm not sure how many days it got printed over it, heirloom seed, and is an indeterminate beefsteak variety with pinkish red flesh weighing two and a half pounds or more this meaty fruit has only a few seeds this variety gets its name from a man who sold enough plants for one dollar each to pay off his mortgage that's an awesome story and this 82 day to harvest variety is a Cherokee purple look at that it looks so pretty so I think I have a set of seeds already, but I just wanted to get another one. Um, it's a conversa great conversation piece grown by the Cherokees. It's disease tolerant, has a smoky sweet flavor, um, 10 to 12 ounce tomatoes with pinkish purple flesh. Next I have this Brandywine Pink Fruited. So, Norm, I have the one that's brandy wine, just general brandy wine, but it, this one is pink fruited, so and it looks so pretty. I had to get it. Only 80 days. Tasty large red tomatoes, worth growing and heirloom, indeterminate. Next, I got this one, which has a great name: A Blinken Tomato. 70 days to harvest. Brilliant red, round, medium-sized tomatoes that grow in clusters of up to nine. Enjoyed since 1923, 12-ounce tomatoes have a delicious flavor and can be harvested until frost grows in on indeterminate vines. Love it. I, it looked like it was a little bit smaller, but I didn't know that it would make so many fruits, so that's wonderful. Then I saw these chocolate cherry tomatoes. So I got it because the price is pretty good. It's cheaper than what um, botanical interests would sell. And I believe it's a lot cheaper also even than Baker Creek. So I decided to get it. The Chocolate Cherry by Fairy Morse as well as the Black Cherry Tomato. So that way I can have a couple of those tinier um, tomatoes.
So the chocolate cherry is a prolific indeterminate variety, matures to a rich mahogany. These delicious tomatoes are great for a colorful snack. Whereas the black cherry is a prolific indeterminate tomato variety that matures to a deep mahogany, consistently black color, develops best when hot and sunny. And I've never really wanted to grow tomatillos. Um, but because I found this variety that's purple and it looks so pretty and unique and it's 75 days to harvest, I said I'll give it a try to grow it. It's in the tomato family. Um, bushy plants grow to be about 20 inches tall, produces purple fruits about the size of a cherry tomato, and makes delicious tart sauces. So we'll see if I can make some kind of hot sauce with this. Then I found this different variety of Genovese basil, 85 days to harvest, and I love basil, so I'm trying to collect all the different varieties. A soft stemmed plant and its leaves are pungent in flavor, used to make pesto or add to your favorite salad, pasta, or meat dish. Then I didn't even care for um, T basils or things that have tiny leaves but I realized that when you buy herbs a lot of pests don't like the smell of herbs so they won't be in there so it won't be hard to wash the herbs. So this basil bush spicy globe looks like it's really gorgeous a really gorgeous plant you can use it as a decorative plant a scented decorative plant um, also, you can use it for pesto and for herbs, I mean for your normal uses for it. Or tea. A refined bush basil from Italy where it is known for its fine green leaf and formed like a ball. So perfectly uniform they look pruned. I love that. And imagine pairing that right next to this dark opal purple basil. Now I had a purple basil last year that I grew and it was pretty prolific and I loved it and I grew it directly in, in the ground after I grew it as a seedling in a pot. Distinctive deep purple foliage, wonderful fragrance, lovely in the flower garden, used in flavored vinegar, garnish, or in salads. So I plan on having an herb section so I'm planning on growing a lot more herbs. So here I purchased this lemon balm and you can make it into tea, 68 days to harvest. And it's a perennial herb that grows best in full sun. Leaves are used in teas, meat sauces, or salads. Plants attract bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. So it's like, it brings in pollinators as well as you can use it for tea and it sounds like it's going to be delicious. Next I have this, I got this organic German chamomile. I saw a different kind of chamomile, it just said chamomile, so I didn't know what kind it was, so I decided to get this one that said exactly what the variety is, German chamomile. And it's 60 days to harvest. Normally I don't grow chamomile or drink chamomile tea, but um, I think that I'm going to start to try because it says um, a delightful scented herb with soft feathery foliage and small daisy like flowers. Aromatic herb can be used fresh or dried and it's good for calming reasons and if I don't even use it for tea I can at least love the aesthetics of it and you know grow it and gather the flowers and get seeds from it and grow it some more to bring in pollinators or just for the scent you know in a little scented pouch or something. Next I found this marigold and it looks so pretty it's called Eskimo 35 days to bloom that's pretty quick right but I love that it's like a yellow with like a faint yellow and almost white colored and let's read it I got two packs because it's unique Bushy plants bear a medium creamy white bloom above deep green foliage. Group plantings are very showy, large double flowers bloom spring to fall. Love it. And it'll keep the pests away from my greens. Oh, let's see how tall those were. 
going to get. So the Eskimo marigolds are going to be about 12 to 18 inches tall. Because I have the Kilimanjaro variety as well. Now Shasta Daisy Dwarf Silver Princess. So I got the regular Shasta Daisy but this one's a Dwarf Silver Princess. Blooms every year. It's a perennial. Love that. So you don't have to do all the work of growing it over and over again. And the height is 12 to 24 inches. So one to two feet, huh? I hope. I wonder if the blooms are bigger or smaller than a regular Shasta Daisy. So it says bright white flower heads with yellow centers. Showy blooms last all summer into fall. If regularly deadheaded, it attracts butterflies. Love it. So I got the Dwarf Teddy Bear Sunflower and it is 75 days to harvest and it's a cute as a little bear only two feet tall but produces eight inch double flowers irresistible and just the height for kids to enjoy fits well in any garden I love it. It's so fuzzy looking. A yellow variety. I wish there was an orange variety and maybe like a red or, or a peachy color one. And lastly for my flowers I got this I got this giant double violet queen zinnia from Fairy Morse. 35 days to bloom. Which, that's kind of odd because I stuck some seeds in the ground and they took more than 35 days to bloom. And for being a large variety, but sure, I believe it if that's what they say. So it says, Magnificent large dahlia flowered blooms in a rich purple hue on strong tall plants. Blooms freely from midsummer to frost flowers will produce a mix of double and semi double blooms I know they look so gorgeous love it and I love the pink center I mean pink flowers with yellow center next I got myself some Sierra gold cantaloupes I really loved having cantaloupe over the summer and when I would get thirsty and hungry I would just pop one open and just like eat eat it and it just it was just fantastic um, 85 days to harvest so I didn't know I went on one side of the rack and I saw I spotted one then when I went around the corner to the other side I, I spotted the other one and I was just grabbing the different varieties that they had not knowing that I had grabbed two of the same variety the only difference is um, they're both non-gmo but this one is USDA organic so it ended up being $2.99 versus this one being $2.19 had I known I would have just picked up one or one a small seed cavity makes it ideal for serving in halves sweet and juicy golden flesh high in vitamin ABC tolerant to powdery mildew so that's what they say for both. So besides the Sierra Gold, I got the Hearts of Gold, the Honey Rock, Delicious 51, and Iroquois. So about the same number of days, 75 days, 70 for the Hearts of Gold. And Hearts of Gold is an excellent melon for home gardeners. The aromatic deep orange flesh is sweet, juicy, vines are vigorous and very productive, high in vitamin A, B, C. So that's pretty cool. Then for the honey rock, let's see what it says. It turns to an almost five to six inch round fruit, heavy netting, faint ribbing and deep salmon color with sweet flesh make this a favorite for gardeners so the fact that it's really golden deep colored makes it sound like it's really good and has a lot of um, vitamin A. Delicious 51 cantaloupe is just that 
The salmon orange flesh is very sweet and aromatic. The average size is 5 to 6 inches, oval weighing 3 to 4 pounds. Delicious 51 is lightly netted, a great choice for a summer treat. So it'd be interesting if I could grow several varieties in the same year and kind of compare them. And I might grow like three varieties. I just don't want to grow too many because I might save the seeds. So I don't want them to cross breed. But then I may just grow all the different kinds and just compare the flavors. So I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. Here is the Iroquois cantaloupe. And... Fine eating quality, earliness, and disease resistance. Thick, sweet salmon orange flesh. Combines a huge 8 to 10 pound size with an attractive oval shape. So this is probably the largest one from what I've read. So you can't always just have cantaloupe. You should have honeydew too, which we like. It's usually a firmer fruit. Um, sometimes it's not as sweet, but it can be quite sweet. Days to harvest. It's crisper very refreshing if it's cold a burst of summertime sweetness honeydew is a seasonal favorite it's a reminder of cool evenings filled with the gentle flicker of fireflies stir indoors or directly in mounds of soil each about two feet wide this breakfast table favorite this ripens in warm weather be sure to plant in a sunny spot Next, I saw that they had a lot of um, varieties of watermelon, and this year they had like a lot of these huge varieties, not like the little, you know, uh, black diamond or the other varieties. They have these huge varieties um, that are striped. So this is the all sweet watermelon, 95 days to harvest, and let's see what it says. Perfect for picnics, large striped melons weigh about 25 to 28 pounds and are packed with fresh, with sweet flesh, high in vitamins A, B, and C, a main season favorite with mel melons that are 17 to 19 inches long and 7 inches in diameter. And for the Jubilee, which I've heard of before but haven't tried it, Watermelon Jubilee is a popular melon that has firm, crisp, bright red flesh. Oblong fruits have a light green base with dark green stripes and weigh 25 pounds and more. They're also wilt resistant and rich in vitamin A, B, and C. So this one's wilt resistant. And then this one is Watermelon Congo. It's a long time favorite variety. Large, long fruits weigh 35 pounds or more. The crisp, sweet flesh makes delicious eating. High in vitamin A, B, and C. Late season melon. So, they're all about 95 days. And I guess um, this Congo's quite large. Like 10 pounds more than this Jubilee variety. And then this, the Jubilee and the... All sweet or roughly the same um, but I saw an even bigger size one I forgot the name of it but I was like I don't know if I have that many days to grow it and um, but I just wanted to try these uh, to see what their flavors were like uh, because the seeds are pretty affordable as opposed to if you were to get it at the more pricey in the pricier seed catalogs and um, some of them you have to pay for shipping and stuff. Whereas when you're at the store, you can just get what you want. So I took my time, went through all the different varieties and chose what I wanted. And I didn't want the really huge one because I don't know if I would have the patience. Because I want to I get into them quickly. And I was able to grow watermelon, watermelons successfully in 2023. And I'm so happy. And they were quite large. So it was kind of nice to try with my family. And we'd take it to gatherings. And people would be able to try My mom couldn't believe that I grew one. <laughs> but yeah, they weren't that hard really.